So we left off with you guys leaving the old couple's crooked three-story house to go to your own crooked three-story house. And you said farewell to Tris Merigold, who's staying with the old couple. And she basically left off by uttering a prayer that the plan to have your meeting with Caleb Menge goes ahead. Are you shitting on my three-story house? It's that we got for <laughs> 50 gold. <laughs> you did get it for 50 gold. Uh, through... Not proper practices, so I will say that. You're meeting Triss at sunset, so is there anything you want to do on the day of the plan that would personally help you? I know there's one thing the witch needs to do, it's just I whether or not he... Up my sword. Oh, he's remembered! Yes, he does. He's, he's got to go see the dumpling guy. I've got to go see a man about some dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't in my plan. <laughs> I just had to check that he didn't see the sword <laughs> thing was on your notes because no, it's not. No, no this this was. Can you read this that? One. This was <laughs> that's yeah, that doctor's <laughs> handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a prescription. Yeah. <laughs> Penis or penicillin? Yeah. I, don't, I don't. One thing is going in their mouth. I don't know which one the doctors recommended. Uh, this, 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 this one's a butt one instead. So the witch, the witch is going to go up to the hiring the uh, inner circle and collect a sword. Um, I don't know. Would you have told Dimdish about this? Um, I would have noticed he had no silver sword on his back. Um, I probably wouldn't have said anything, no. No. But Are you going to leave without saying anything? <laughs> no, I'm literally going to... I'm going to tell him that I, I'm going to go see a man about some dumplings. Okay. Uh, I did wonder about all the dumplings. Um, they weren't that actually that bad. Where'd you get them? Um, Elven man. The upper ring. Elven man? Upper ring? They must have been expensive, Witcher. No, they, uh... He hushed the patrons out and I manhandled the dumplings. Did you fight a elven guy for some dumplings? No. no All right. I expect more payment than dumplings. Okay, um... I'm really confused about this situation, Witcher. They, were, they were leftovers. Leftovers. Uh, okay, 
what's the man doing for you, the dumpling guy? Um, he's just doing me a favor. Okay. Some upgraded equipment we may need. I glance at your back. Um, your silver sword is missing. Um, being worked on. By a dumpling guy. By a dumpling man. <laughs> Not going to question it. <laughs> Not even going to question it. Okay. Um, would you like to accompany him? Yeah, go on then. Okay, so the, uh, pair you, the pair of you make your way to the upper ring. You must pay your two gold toll to enter the upper oh. ring, as usual. Every time you go in and out, it's two gold. Oh, it's a bitch tax. This is oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Well, this is this is a tax enforced by uh, down to twenty six. This is a tax that's been enforced by the current uh, occupiers of the city. To be fair, I think you made it up in dumplings. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so. you've got more than two gold worth of dumplings. It's <laughs> a lot of fucking dumplings. <laughs> Saxful. Fancy dumplings. They're probably very mouldy and soggy <laughs> by now. <laughs> He's still, still eating them. And you make your way to the shop. Uh, as you approach the uh, dumpling shop, uh, you can see the clothes sign is still up, and you can hear iron being worked on from inside. Um, I will bang on the on the door. Like, uh, pur- like purposefully a nice stern knock yeah um, so, <laughs> so the banging yeah. stops and the door opens just ajar and you see the elven man um I'm here to collect my sword it's ready it's ready I want to see him like sweating and, he... and like... <laughs> oh, no, he's like tickets man guy he's he like, is no, he's massive, massive. he's really <laughs> <hench> for an <laughs> elf got... this guy is big but he's Definitely got like bags under his eyes. And, yeah, well, like, he's he been, hasn't slept. He, you gave him two days when he said can can have a week. So um, he closes the door and then he comes back and opens the door up. And in his hand, you see your, what was your old silver sword. Um, but it's very different now. Uh, the handle is more ornate and it's golden. And you see runes etched on the blade now. And he looks at you and he goes, I have enchanted the blade. I call this the Silver Sword of Everlight. May I? He hands you the blade. I'll, um, I'll give it a quick flourish. Okay, so whereas before when you tried to balance that blade and it was wobbly before, you do it again, but and this time it stands perfectly still in your hand. Uh, I would call that a blade that is perfectly balanced, unlike before. I'll, um, I'll, I'll run my thumb just along the edges of it. A little teaser. And it, uh, what along the actual blade yeah. bit? Yeah, and it scores your thumb. I'll pocket it. I'll put it back in its sheath. Um, what does it do? So that's going to be a plus two now. Plus two. But also, every time you strike someone with it, <coughs> and I'll allow you to choose the ruin, what kind of damage would you like to do? Fire, lightning, light, dark. Fire. Choose fire. Choose fire. Choose Any fire. element you want, and it'll do that damage. Choose fire, Grayson. Choose fire. Fire. Yeah, let's go with fire. Let's go with fire. You want yeah. fire damage? Okay. So there is a, th- I'm going to say a 20% chance that you will set somebody on fire when you strike them, or a monster, because it's the silver sword. It's not your um, your iron. Earthen damage. What the hell would earthen damage? Yeah, is it just like getting hit by some rocks? And the way we'll do that is when you strike with your sword, you'll also roll a d10, and on a one and a two, that'll set on my light. Should be the other way around. Do you want a ten nine or a nine? Or nine. Would you like? Would you it rather that? We can a go ten. a nine or a ten. All right, a nine or a ten. You've you always got to go with the high numbers. All right, the good that's fair ones. enough. Nine or a ten. One, it blows up in his own face. And you also get a plus two to hit. Ah. Oh. See, I was hoping like a one. And he gets this is a master crafted silver sword by a maf- master craftsman. Yeah, and he did it just for shits and giggles. He has. He gave up his trade, what he loved to do, because he didn't want to supply the, the occupiers with, with good weaponry. He didn't want them to know what he could do. I feel like the guards are going to be like, oh, you can make swords, are you? Uh, nobody's around. It's okay. He's very he's very subtle with the way he... Although he did spend two full days <laughs> yes. banging iron in his shop. I bet people walked past and were like, what's the dumpling guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> what's the dumpling guy doing? Well, first I... roll is two ones. That's good. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not telling of what's to come. <laughs> I'm getting a premonition about this sword. It's curved. <laughs> Is there any more you'd like to do? 
Or are you just going to hang around now until you meet Triss at sunset? Well, we're definitely not coming in and out of the hiring um, again. Oh, like offer my hand to this man. He shakes your hand. And um, in it, I'll have two <laughs> gold. Kiss the ring. Two <laughs> gold for him. He takes two gold. Um, and I'll keep hold of his hand. And kiss it. And he, he looks at you and he goes, remember me, Witcher. What's his name? Yeah, you haven't asked. Um, okay. Um, I'll do more than that. I owe you a favour. Any favour. But I will not kill the innocent for you. Take me to care more, hun. Allow me to craft master weaponry for witches. Get your notebook out. I owe you one dwarf. I'll see if that can be arranged. And he nods. Is this going to be like the boy situation again? Are we going to forget about the dwarf? <laughs> Poor old Ashley is still collect. He's probably crippled by now. Uh-huh. That disease has probably taken it's been hold. Seventy-two years. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, he's only been there. How, how many? Uh, probably like, close to a year. Yeah, but a year. A boy's still hanging on. You've literally ruined a child. Um, is there any way I can get a message to um my? Witches. To so care more. Her, uh, the only way you could do it is post notices so that other witches might see it. Um, or you take advantage and you, you travel to care more or you portal there or yeah. Um, a it's a be- it's a very long way. Months and months of travel. Just send him with a note. He doesn't know where care more is. Well, I mean, you had a chance. To, well, you're gonna you're gonna end up there eventually, so don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With or without the boy. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it depends. I just don't want to ruin your. No, flow no, 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 no. The boy was the yeah, actually yeah. is just a bonus extra that you were promised <laughs> to send him to train as a witcher. It just shows he's a piece of shit witcher <laughs> <laughs> instead. <laughs> just... You promised to cure mind. his his disease that he was eventually going to die from by making him a witcher. Remember the disease? <laughs> he doesn't remember the, <laughs> the disease. disease. Um, <laughs> I'll post a notice up then. Yeah. And um, I'll put both of those things in it. Um, do the witches have like a thieves code or is it just plain English? You, you can literally just title it two witches. And um, it wouldn't be a hidden message. It would just, you'd write it plain. They would understand where you want them to be sent. I don't think you'd... Obviously, you're not going to give direction to Ken Morhern in your messages or yeah. anything like that, but you're just going to merely say something like, there are people I require to be sent home to, right. the, home of gotcha. the, wolf, to the home of the wolf. Yeah. And then I, I'll label the two and where they are. Yeah. So it's, almost, it's almost a witcher posting a job to other witches. Can you escort these people for me? Yeah. That's basically what it is. Have we got postmen witches? Uh, there are runners. Oh. Runners who can who can distribute notes and then, and then they'll just yeah. spread. That's a very disappointing witcher to be a postman. <laughs> no, the, the witcher's not the postman. Hey, in America, the witcher, they're still agents of the government. That's an, e- <laughs> an easy job for a witcher is is literally just escort duty. Oh, it's definitely one of those side quests that you're putting in the back pocket and forgetting <laughs> about. <laughs> I need you to deliver a letter. So eventually, I need you to deliver a dwarf. Eventually, you, I mean, you know, you know, Yennefer, she's around. Um, well, actually, she's in Skelliger at the minute following up leads yeah eventually the sun sets and you both head to the temple of the eternal fire not far from the guards keep that you promised to meet Triss at is that in the top section it is in the high ring yeah. good because I don't want to pay another two gold <laughs> no I, um, I'd say you flit around the high ring you take in the, the, yeah, the more yeah, high echelon of society um, echelon can we do echelon Echelon source. Echelon. Echelon. No, Echelon. 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 It's Gakwan's brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 that, that, it's no. his Spanish brother. That's the elf's name. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> Echelon. <laughs> That's the elf's name. <laughs> Actually, I wrote it down. <laughs> it's canon His now. name is Echelon. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Um, it's going in. Could we do a little bit of scouting first? Like... Just um, not actually going in, just seeing if there's any guard towers. Yeah, how, sure. Yeah, yeah. You manned. can um, give me an investigation check of the keep. However, um, Triss did produce a, quite a detailed map herself of the keep to to show you that there's ways you can slip in and out. 
No, my dice are going to fuck me. That's a five. Yeah, no. Um, you, I mean, you see the keep and you're like, that's a big keep. <laughs> that's a big keep. And there's a lot of men there. That's about all you can see. I counted at least two. <laughs> <laughs> two guys at the front door. That's all you saw. We can take them. <laughs> So I don't worry, I'm making sure I write down allies, Eshwan the blacksmith dwarf. <laughs> Who elf, he's an elf. He's an elf. Eshwan the elf. The hench elf. Tickets. He's please. swords please, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, swords please. Right, it's in there. I'm not joking. Look. Okay. Yeah, no, Eshwan's in there. I- I've spelt it E-S-C-W-A-N. H1. 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 <laughs> oh, sorry. Do you want an extra N on no, there? No, no, it's fine. No, no, no. It's fine. Um, would you like to give me an investigation of the keep, which is just doing a little bit of a walk around? He hasn't spotted anything. You might, you think he walked around cross-eyed. Fucking <laughs> rolling like that. Yeah, you would. He's too busy checking his new sword out. I got a 15. You got a 15. Yeah. Um, so you pick up a lot more of this keep. Uh, you can see quite a lot of men stationed around the walls. Mm-hmm. Um, the walls are so high, though, that you can't really see beyond them. You can't see the keep itself. The keep doesn't look like it extends high into the sky. This is quite a low. a low-level keep, almost like they want to keep everything inside secret. You don't see any damage to the walls. They're all very well made, very well maintained. Uh, I've had a little witcher. It looks like a regular keep to me with a 15 you also spot some odd acting characters that flit around outside of the keep as well um, there are people dressed as normal people but are acting suspiciously and you're not sure what they're about uh, which are there's some sus looking people as well uh, um, there <laughs> any, <laughs> any particular race or all human all human. Do they look armoured? They look They're all weapons? wearing very thick cloaks. Right. And are they uh... But they're sort of milling around doing their own business. They they look like they're shopping and they're they're browsing stuff and they're sitting outside of um, small bistros and Yeah. I was about to say, I'm happy that it was humans. I didn't want no racial profiling of elves <laughs> and dwarves and gnomes or anything like this. No. All human. All fairly well built, all male. Right. Like the tickets, please, sort of guy? Or? No, not as big as that. No, no. They're... But you look at these men and you're like, mm, they look like they can fight. They're probably here for one, I would imagine. Who knows? Um, I... You say they're like sad beast rows and just browsing, like wandering. You know, like the old, like, I'm looking at a newspaper, but I'm not. I'm looking <laughs> yeah, at Yeah, I was going to say, they like looking around rather than const- like they pick up a piece of fruit but they don't look at the fruit yes <laughs> there's yeah. eye holes in the yes. fruit <laughs> there's <laughs> eye holes in the fruit it's just a banana <laughs> the shittest Geordie you've ever seen from Star Trek <laughs> you can only see the yellow spectrum <laughs> I, I can only see green so it's pretty much like your porn search history isn't it <laughs> <laughs> that was a racist joke. I, I thought <laughs> it took me a moment. I was like, "Do I say anything?" Or do I say anything? <laughs> no, we move on. <laughs> um, what well, uh, you can do, what um, you like. I will. I'll walk over near the moment uh, in when they're in the bistro, mm-hmm. and I will make myself very well known. Uh, like I will. I won't hide the fact that I'm a witcher. They, they have already clocked you. A lot of these people are keeping an eye on you and your friend. Um, I will. I'll tap one of them on the on the shoulder. Walk up to him. Okay. Um, get his attention. Yep. You're not doing a very good job of hiding. I don't know what you're on about, sir. I am just enjoying my coffee. He sounds like he's lying. <laughs> he, he genuinely <laughs> does. Uh, you believe I him. believe you him. Stonewall <laughs> believes that this is just a normal gentleman. I just got Jedi mind tricked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir, enjoy your day. You both very feel well. very bad about disturbing this man's morning coffee. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Um, right. 
So, uh, I'll toss him a dumpling. And... <laughs> yeah, no, mouldy no, no. dumpling. <laughs> yep, it's been two days. Fair enough, and I'll, I'll walk off. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I got a natural 20, everybody. Uh, that killed that one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> also, I love the fact that he plays off that, oh, I, I saw that you were looking sus. No, you didn't. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I did. I yeah, don't know you what didn't. you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess the wish it did. <laughs> yep. Um, I guess we'll just hang around then. Eventually, the sun begins to set. And you make out um, the figure in a green cloak of Tris Merigold standing around by the temple. We better go over there, which her? Yeah, um, yeah. How did we say we were getting in here? Was it back door? Or was um, it we're getting out the back door? We're uh, putting the witch into handcuffs. <clears throat> How sure are you about this plan? Because I'm not. Um, I'm not either, but this is her choice. And our only opportunity. And our witch hunter, this guy, Caleb, he seems a bit focused on you. Why, witcher? I'm a witcher. Uh, yeah, that don't mean anything. Like, I get it, you get strange looks a lot of the time, and you got cat eyes and stuff like that, but... Why Mingi? Not all witches' mutations would have mutated their eyes. Alright. Just saying. He's got cat ears. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, he, he, he specifically was mutated in that way, but you've met right. witches that don't look like witches. Have we feet. met another witcher? I don't you think we have. have. not met another no, witcher, we've been, no. we've just been on the tail of Geralt the whole time. They are, they are very rare. Have I met another Have you ever witcher? met a witcher? Do you want to roll to see if you've met I really a witcher? should. Go on. No. You have not met a witcher. I don't even think I've met one here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a seven, not a one. It's okay. Are you sure about yeah, that? Yeah, that is a seven. That's a seven. It yeah, is a seven. One, sir. Damn, it I wish it had been If it had one. been an actual one, I would have been like... Dim just doesn't you're not even eat. sure he's a witch. <laughs> Dim, just doesn't, Dim just thinks you're a bit weird. <laughs> I mean, on practice... <laughs> you I can't pronounce think... witch properly. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, on practice, how much witchering has he done for a witcher? You've taken down monsters together already. Yeah, yeah. together. And you've seen his knowledge of it as well. Yeah. You also saw him nearly lose to ghouls. Yes, and yeah. was saved by... You. Me. Because <laughs> he tripped and fell into a pit of them. I did. <laughs> As I majestically pointed at them. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Good times. Take me back to those days. Um, yeah, take me back to the easy times when Ren was still alive. <laughs> Do we just walk over? Okay. Okay, so you... I mean, Tris spots you. It's not hard. You're not hiding yourselves. No. Um, and you walk over to Triss. And she, you can see that she is glancing around everywhere at the time. Um, it would probably be a good idea to look less suspicious, Triss. Try mud. It looks like the witch hunters are um, incognito around the keep as well. They're trying to stay quiet. Oh, like that guy that we met in the thing. No, that guy can't have. He, 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 he was having a coffee. He was on the level. He was on a coffee. <laughs> uh, he, even though he had a Witcher badge out. And, everything. and then she discreetly pulls out from under her cloak the Dimantium handcuffs. Um, Are you ready, Witcher? I will take them. Um, and I will get really close to her. I'm sorry for what's about to happen. And I will pull a punch. Okay. You're going to try and knock her out? No. Oh, I, right. want, I want to make it look real. Oh, okay. So you're sort of going to... A bit of a performance. I'm going oh, okay. to like... I'm going to punch her, but I need the surprise. I okay. need the bruise. That roll a hit? Maybe rolls a one. <laughs> Just swinging a Punches miss. himself with the head. <laughs> it's a brick wall. 20 to hit. Yeah, you clocker. It's it's a flat five damage for okay, her. Yeah, so, you but I'll pull you, my punch. So you clocker, can I? You, can I half you, you even split her cheek slightly. Yeah, can, can I? Can I half damage? You can, since since I pulled my punch, yeah. you you just like clip her and split the top of her cheek. Um, it's non-lethal though, isn't it? So it yeah, is, yeah. yeah. Um, then I'll kneel on her back and like drag her arms and put her in. Cuffs. She makes a scene of dropping to the floor from the punch and and you cuff her with the diamantium cuffs. Um, are you cuffing her? From behind, from the front, how are you doing? Um, I'll 
cover from the front. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> James is like, what difference does it make? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Will and, I? And uh, you approach the keep. Um, um, one of the two guards puts his hand up to halt you. I suggest you let me in. I have a witch, and I wish to turn in to your leader. And who's the witch that you are presenting? This is Triss. And he pulls down her hood. And he looks at the other guard. And they share it. They exchange a look with each other. Very good work. We'll take it from here. No, you won't. I'm a witcher. I give my bounties in and I collect my gold in person. And the if other guard you... taps the other one. He goes, that... he's bought Triss Merigold. Bear with me one second. And he walks back through the gate again and disappears. <laughs> You'll never guess what. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're joking. No, I never. No, another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking primates. <laughs> I feel like there's an old woman behind the reception desk. So, well. um, eventually, he comes back through again. Caleb Menge will see you now, and he opens the gate. And as you're walking through, leading Triss in her cuffs. You get a better look at this keep now, and you can see a massive training courtyard full of training dummies and stables and all sorts, and you see quite a lot of soldiers here. You can't even count the amount of soldiers that are milling around, they're training, they're eating, they're camping. Um, it looks like not all of them stay in the keep, their tents popped up all around this place as well. And you see this, this very small two-story stone keep in front of you. And he leads you in through this stone keep and up a small staircase. And then you approach this, this quite regal looking door, this large red door with a massive symbol of a flame on it. And they knock on the door. And on that note, it's time for us to chuff off. All you summoners can join us next time. If you've got any questions or queries or just want to see what we're up to, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at How Not To Summon or join our Discord at How Not To Summon A Podcast. Or go to our link tree to find all our links. Or go to our YouTube to find all our vids. I've been your DM, Sheeny Senpai. I've been Tim Dish. And I've been your Witcher. See you later, guys. See you later. Tara.
cards with strength and grace. Tintish cards with faith weave the lifeless night. Glowing eyes and breath of fire. We press on through the muck and mire. Velimir leads with strength and grace. Tindish guards with faith we embrace. Ran the witch her magic pure. Together strong, together.